Tara and Andy's film reviews on ourgamers.co.uk. Who wants another? F- oh, you threw me with your click in. <laughs> Who wants another film review? <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Tara Malik. Hello, everyone. It's me, Andy Burns. <laughs> I guess that's staying. How annoying. I was like, hold my breath and so ready for it. And then your stupid clicking, like, completely threw me. I was zooming out. Yeah, I wasn't ready for it. No, I, thought, I thought maybe you cancelled it. 30 seconds in. People already like turned off by now. The Mummy. <laughs> is the next one that we're going to be talking about. It is Classified 15. The director is Alex Kurtzman. Oh, I wanted to see what he's done because the name sounded really familiar. Does it sound familiar to you, Andy? No. Uh, Transformers. He was a writer, producer for the amazing... Oh, Star Trek, hello. So quite a few things. No wonder I recognise the name. Anyway, okay. Um, starring in this, obviously, you've got Tom Cruise, who <laughs> who doesn't know that. Um, you've got Sophia Boutella and Annabelle Wallace. The genre, once again, action, adventure, fantasy. Seem to be picking the same sort of thing lately, I yeah. realised. All completely different films, though, and all good. Running time is an hour and 50 minutes, so less than what we've been seeing at the moment. And basically, an ancient princess is awakened from her crypt beneath the desert, bringing with her malevolence grown... Wait a minute, that's a big word. Bringing with her malevolence grown over millennia and terrors that defy (laughs) human comprehension. It just didn't make sense. Malevolence grown. Just bringing with her... So malevolence was grown over millennia. Malevolence grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring in with her just a bad attitude, basically. She's hangry. She's extremely, extremely hangry. She is, actually. Um, that's the synopsis in brief. So let's talk about the start. But I think you said you couldn't quite remember. Ooh, Dark Universe. That's my only note oh, regarding really? the start. <laughs> you know, because obviously normally they do the whole way back there was a princess of Egypt and blah, 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 blah. It didn't start like that. And I really liked that. It threw me like completely. I didn't expect it at all. So it was very nice. So amazing start with the story and the shots. Good. They did obviously get into the, there was a princess years ago in Egypt. <laughs> Is that how they said it? <laughs> Ancient Egypt. There was a princess. <laughs> I didn't sound like that. That's just mean. But anyway, so I like it because you honestly, you do expect that straight away at the start because it's like, well, how else are they going to start the movie? Well, clearly they found another way. So I liked it. Anything you want to add to that? Apart nope. from your dark universe, that was it? Nope. Mm-hmm. Story and script, obviously, is the next bit. You want to share anything? I was overall pleased. Yeah. I It got got interesting, thickened a bit, got a bit more interesting. You know, the plot thickens. Um, I'm not really going to complain about like the story. and the, the script. <laughs> <laughs> you need the right shampoo Yes. The, <laughs> the script was uh, okay. No complaints about that. They add some funny bits, you know, as they do nowadays. Um, regarding the story, I actually didn't mind the narration. Sometimes you can complain about it, but oh, I like yeah. It. Hey, Andy, my IQ's thickened. <laughs> Take that how you will. Um. Anyway, yeah, I thought it was funny. There's a good duo which we'll get into. Um, it was very good with the building up and the suspense, which is what you were saying about everything thickening. <laughs> the plane scene is really good. The whole anti gravity aspect of it. Because I think it wasn't like anti-gravity, it was the plane falling and they had to like shoot that clip of the scene in that moment. I've got those notes on direction, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's there. Oh, yeah. Why did I not put that? Half asleep. I'm not having a coffee today. I'm having a green tea and mint. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Andy said the espresso, so let's see how uh, he develops throughout this film review anyway so interesting good pace it was tense scary jumpy i was on edge it was very well executed how they did that i wrote a note down and i think i I wrote the word nervy but i can't really tell because it's just a squiggle yeah um it did look like you could have said that but also looked like you could have said a few other things yeah i know so it was very confusing then i wrote ugh gross so there are a few bits in there it's like those are just spiders probably no the dead people (laughs) <laughs> dead people <laughs> it's just like really gross <laughs> um then i wrote oh wow so effective the zombie saves rising that was beyond creepy like it was done so well um very unnerving and uncomfortable for me 
Um, and then I wrote so creepy again, because clearly that was something that was coming through. But totally awesome. Definitely want more. Bring on the next one. And um, there are a few plot points that get teased. So a few things here and there that get thrown in and touched on and snuck in, but nothing more. So there's no follow up of it throughout the film. So obviously you need a sequel for that one. And it's something you'd recognize if you've seen the Brendan Fraser series of films of The Mummy. Um, otherwise you probably wouldn't get it. You probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The, that, that yeah, thing. yeah. Exactly. I just mimed it for him. And also great twists. So definitely something different enough from those originals. I like what they did here. It was refreshing. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I think those are all my notes for it. I quite enjoyed the story overall. There you go. Done. Okay. Cast and characters. What have you got? Tom Cruise was believable. Quite committed yes. to the role, I think. Tom Cruise he is always, an amazing actor. He always does... Uh, yeah, he's a bit of a weirdo, though. He always he does... He is. No, I said he's an amazing actor. Yeah. I didn't go into, like, his <laughs> personal life. He does seem to sort of commit to roles quite yeah. well. And you, knew, you he know knows you're how gonna to pick get good... them and how to bring them. Yes. You know. I wonder how many of his characters could overlap, though, because, you know, he's this kind of it's, typecast. He, yeah. But he yeah. wants to play that macho man, doesn't he, really? Mm. That's a little, little man. Dog little complex. man syndrome. Yeah. Little dog syndrome, <laughs> definitely. Um, I didn't know that uh, Jake Johnson was in the uh, film. I didn't know either. Yeah, that was that was a nice surprise. He is he's, fantastic. He's he is funny in everything he's been in. Quite happy with him. He's the funny guy from New Gaul. New Gaul? New Gaul. <laughs> New <laughs> <laughs> new girl and let's be cops obviously slightly it, typecast yeah. but he is perfect i want to see that again just because i like him yeah then he's I've... brilliant like he's absolutely brilliant so i loved him in this as well mm. i did like the uh, the character progress a bit and mm-hmm. the intro and stuff um mm-hmm. all quite happy uh i did enjoy russell crowe's character yes there's a bit of a nice I... surprise with his as well yeah i don't know i, I don't think i have any complaints about him mm. Being, being that character but um i didn't know that was going to happen yeah like I, when they uh, the development for the characters seemed a bit slow though so uh, mm. that's the only real complaint regarding the characters yeah. and cast yeah um but yeah overall happy with the cast obviously got to mention the mummy yes yeah, yeah, she's done that really well she's perfect as the mummy like i literally she just is she's just the look her sort of presence she's just absolutely like when we did the wonder woman review and I said that Gal Gadot is just, is Wonder Woman. Like, she's amazing. Um, Sophia Batella is the mummy. Like, she's just fantastic for it. I can't picture anyone else to do that. I think she was just the right one for it, for sure. Yeah. I think initially she didn't really want to do it because she wanted her character to be, have more depth than just scaring people. So they had to make the script quite interesting. So there is kind of a purpose behind everything she does. So thankfully, that's there. Um, but yeah, again, agreeing with you, Andy, Tom Cruise obviously delivers. I did like all of the cast performances, to be quite honest. It all worked quite well. Sophia Patella, yay. Jake Johnson, yay. And what else have I got here? Good casting, worked really well together. Oh, and obviously um, Jake Johnson working with Tom Cruise's character, that worked perfectly well yes, as well. Yes, yeah, that, drew that could have, work. Yeah, it could have been awkward, but they obviously got that mesh perfect. Um, there were a few odd character choices, but hey, like when I was watching it, I was thinking, hold on a minute, you should be smarter than that. You should be more wary than that. Oh, look what's happened. You're dead. (laughs) So, you know what I mean? Like it was, there's this, it's just, yeah, yeah, I'm like, that's just so weird. Anyway, I think that's all I've got for casting characters. Action. Go on, talk about your plane scene. I really like the underwater bit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the the plane's actually a second note i've got the, 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 the plane bit was impressive mm-hmm. um there was a uh, chase and a crash in a vehicle yeah. and they had i'm trying to think action scenes yeah the it wasn't too cgi there was cgi in yeah. it but you could tell the actors went through certain things mm. i.e the plane scene we know that mm. we've seen documentary or adverts you know mm. they they're running did obviously that. through london as well like yep. that's amazing which we see clips of in the trailer but again seeing it fully here loved it mm. and the cgi is fantastic of that as well so yeah anything else yep the uh <laughs> the chase with like uh some some enemies and holds and whatever mm-hmm. you know it's all, all really well done as you say through the uh, through mm. london mm. um I did really like the sound. The sound was okay. In mm-hmm. for like, we, did we see it in IMAX? Question mark. I think we did. I forget now. The I sound was remember. good. Some of the sound, some of the scares relied on the sound a bit too much for my mm. liking. I'm 
number one, that doesn't scare me. Doesn't really affect me at all. It does me. Does you? <laughs> I, it's, it's hard to scare me though. You know, I, I don't get on edge. But I actually notice when um, something tries to scare you badly or cheaply. You know, yeah. just from like a, a sudden loud noise, like a jump scare. I, I, it's, it's not impressive when you do it a few times in a film. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, but yeah, other than that, the action was all quite good. The um, the the fight scenes were also really enjoyable. Really happy with those. Mm-hmm. No real complaints. Uh, basically, I've got great action scenes as well. Although the final, ultimate climactic scene, I would have liked a bit more out of the end. To be honest, it kind of ended too suddenly. And if you go see it, you'll probably understand where I'm coming from. I just don't want to give too much away. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, it was just it. It was just like they touched on it, and then it was all done. And I'm like, no. Um, maybe have a few more dynamics. It wasn't fully explored with certain things, so like the full potential of the scene or choices that could have been made weren't there. So I think they kind of lost out on a few um, moments that they could have done as well. Um, but again, overall, the action scenes weren't disappointing. You know, they were fun to have. They did what they did, and the CGI in them as well were great. And I think that's all I've got for action. Overall happy. Overall happy, yeah. It's always a good time. And like I said, I pace I haven't got written anywhere, which is normally a good thing, um, because I think everything was sort of spaced out quite nicely. So you had your story, you had your flashbacks and whatever, and and then you'd have your action scenes and oh the ambulance scene. Oh, is that what you meant? That's what you meant with the car. Yeah, like that was brilliant. I absolutely. Love- I mean, obviously you get a bit of that in the trailer as well, but that's really good. They actually good. went through that crash on a rotary, like mechanical yeah. rig. It was actually the actors actually yeah. swinging around and stuff. So yeah. it's quite well done. Yeah. There's obviously some CGI. You need like a solid stomach to have worked on this film. They were in the plane and <laughs> the ambulance. Not me. Not me. Um, okay, so costumes? It's a bit more advanced than a 4D screen. <laughs> Definitely than a 4DX screen. Okay, so costumes then. Thumbs up from me, obviously. Fantastic costumes and makeup. That's all I've got. They did loads of costume related things right from the start. And obviously the mummy was in costume. Yeah. Her own sort of clothing the whole way through. I, I only made the one note at the start though myself. So, and they were good. They were. They did a really good job with the costumes. Mm. And also, I made a. I included sets a little bit here because it's yeah. also stuff they create. Um, they were believable. Everything that they created yeah. seemed to be spot on. Yeah, because they were. They obviously had a few different sets. Yeah, they had like the tomb, tomb and stuff. Yeah, yeah and they had um, the the later on the tomb that they discovered yeah. with other story elements yeah. and stuff in it. Yeah. Um. Also, in regards to the makeup side of things, I'm also mentioning the the dead people. <laughs> um, the makeup there and the costumes there as well spot on so nice okay CGI I mean we've basically said it already to be quite honest I'm just going to say it's superb it doesn't disappoint at all mm, all really well done impressive mm, definitely I just summed up my notes on that as well <laughs> cool okay we're getting near the end now I Ran- just have some randoms randoms oh okay you first then it obviously doesn't replace the original mummy trilogy no no. It's, it's not the sto- same story, it's not the same no. plot as such, you know. And we, I think it was after we saw this Mummy film when it came out, I really fancied watching the original. Yes. So, but not, yeah, it just was like, oh, I really fancy watching the original. Yeah. It's nothing alike, but it was just nice to watch, which is nice because then... It doesn't like, replace it. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Um, the trailer didn't spoil and did no. not um, take too much of the film. Like, there are... You see a bit of the plane in the trailer. You see a lot more in the actual film. You see yeah. a bit of the chase in the, in the trailer. You yeah. see a lot more. In the, it's nice. It's not. And and as I say, it doesn't spoil anything. No. Now always gets my thumbs up for a trailer. Yeah. Because I, I hate it when that's. You, you do spoiled. always bring that up with the trailers, yeah. Um. So if you like the trailer, chances are you're going to enjoy the film. Yeah. Because you're getting the stuff from the trailer and and more and more, and more yeah. of it. So. And an interesting story as well. Yeah. And the outcome at the end is so good. On that note, though, I do think it dragged a little bit. The pace. Did get a little bit slow in one or two places, maybe just one place, you know, roughly in the middle. A bit too too much story, a bit too much I development. I think I know there was one yeah, part for me. You're probably thinking the same yeah. thing. But other than that, not too bad. Mm-hmm. And one more last random note: your suspense face is funny. Oh no! <laughs> I, I keep showing over, everything. I glanced over more than once, and you were like proper on edge. Like I could never play poker. I would not have a poker face <laughs> at all be giving it away or be trying too hard not to give it away and it would be giving it away um i have a random i'm surprised Ooh. you didn't bring it up i know i've got random Horses. how <laughs> no i didn't i didn't again what is going on becoming a proper film reviewer i'm just like <laughs> forgetting about <laughs> not <laughs> okay um how on earth did they not get hit 
even once. That's my random. <laughs> like, gunshots everywhere, blah, blah, blah. Magic of the movies, they didn't even get hit once. Yeah, lads. Not a scratch. Lad, Star Wars stormtroopers off chasing up. It's them. just like. <laughs> so bad at firing. <laughs> I just was. I thought, wow. I mean, obviously, we can't. They can't get shot, but, you know, it's like. No one's getting shot right now, or even grazed. Like, nothing's <laughs> happening. So, anyway. And was they were right saying, in the line of keep, fire. Was it keep the rating? No, the rating was a 15. They could have done that, couldn't they? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's just... It's, you'll know probably what I'm talking about. But, yeah, it was just shocking. But, anyway. um, Okay. So, it's time to do the rate, Andy. What rate are you going to give it? The rate I'm going to be giving it... I don't know, six, seven-ish. I can't decide. I'm probably going to go maybe closer to six. No, seven. Give it a seven. Are you sure? Maybe. Final answer. <laughs> Ask the audience. That's Enough, just me. Can I find a friend? <laughs> That's me. <Hey>, Tara. <laughs> seven. Okay, well, guess what? I'm giving it a seven as well. Okay, I don't feel I too think, bad now. Yeah, no, I think it deserves a seven. <laughs> it's not higher. I wouldn't go higher. Yeah, it's not amazing. Definitely not lower. Good film. In all the recent action adventure fantasy or whatever it was yeah. we've seen, it has to be Pirates. Better than Pirates. Pirates wasn't great. This was better than Pirates. But Wonder Woman's on top. But Wonder Woman's the one we recommend. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I think we've definitely judged that fairly. The rating it's gotten at the moment is a 5.8, which is a little bit on the lower yeah, side like, than what we would have thought. Yeah. I was hoping that sort of But like. sometimes they get it wrong, eh? So <laughs> 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 don't listen to them. Anyway, listen that's to us. Yeah. <laughs> More haha. Um <laughs> that is it for another film review. So until next time, see you later. Thanks, bye. Bye. You know, woman scorned. Was she a woman scorned? Mm, not quite. That's another story. Thanks to Cineworld Festival Leisure Park Basildon for the best experience around. <laughs>